Hello guys, what's going on? It is Mitch here from Mobile Games Guru, and today I have you a farming attack strategy if you want to get that extra elixir and gold. But how do you do it? Um, basically, what I use, um, there's two different strategies you can use. You can use six wall breakers, six giants to get rid of those defensive, hopefully, and then use about an equal amount of archers and barbarians. Alright guys, so let's just jump right into attack here. I will show you how it's done. I'll try to find a good attack. Hopefully we can find somewhere around 25k, 50k, something like that. Um, so let us find a good... No, I don't really like that one. So basically you want to find something that A has full storages or collectors. Like this one does, but I'm too high of a town hall, so I don't get full... Um, full loot from it if I attack it. So I don't want to do that. Um, don't want to do that even though the storages are full. Can't do that. Storages are full even though the storages are full. Um, let us see here. So this guy has a lot of stuff. Um, Alright, well, anyways, I'll just kind of do this. Despite the fact that um, there's kind of, you know, there's not that much loot, but there's still quite a bit. So yeah. Alright, so we'll kind of send some stuff in right now here. Nothing in there, that's good. Alright, so then we're gonna send in now that our barbarians are done, we're just gonna send them all in around here. And we're gonna send in our archers here, archers here. We're just kinda of surround the place completely. Alright, so as you can see, my guys are just absolutely doing work. Um, hopefully they can take up this cannon, that way it makes it easier. Um, if not, that's fine. So, hopefully we can get to these elixir storages pretty quick here. Looks like we're going to be able to, um, they take up this cannon, and we will go for the town hall, which means we'll get a two-star. Pretty good. Um, other than that, guys, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy. Um, they'll pick up this archer tower, then they'll pick up this cannon right here. So that's good. That guarantees us three stars, which is awesome. And now they get to the loot, which is pretty easy. And as you can see, the best thing is best if you can take out their defenses right away. But if you can't, just hope the barbarians can do what they do. And if they can't, that's okay. Just as long as you get to the starters. Also, you can replace the barbarians with goblins if you want. But I like barbarians over goblins just because of the health and the amount of damage they do. Alright guys, so like I said, we're not 100%, and then I will show you my other strategy that involves no wall breakers and absolutely no, um, giants. So, let's see, we are going to go 115, so we're going to do around 60. We'll go like that for barbs, and then, this is called the barter strategy because it's half barbs, half archers, so... This is actually a super good strategy, I've learned. Um, Alright, so let's jump right into the battle here. Um, so, unfortunately, these aren't that full. And if you are farming, guys, don't worry about trophies. If you're farming, you should not be worrying about trophies. Just stay in the range where you can find town halls that have a good amount of, you know, stuff in them. Or the collectors have a good amount of loot in them. Alright, so that's not good either. But... They're getting there. Okay. This good? Nope. So we want to find a place that has their storages are full, which means they're an inactive base because that means they haven't gone and clash clans in a while. So their collectors are totally full, leaving it free for us to attack and take. Alright, so I'm not seeing much, but we'll get there eventually. It does take a while sometimes. Oh, these guys, that's an active base, we don't want that. And here we go, guys, this is a perfect example of an inactive base. As you can see here, these storages are completely full, and my archers will do an unbelievable amount of work on this. So, um, I hope you guys kind of watch just how much stuff I get from these, and um, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna let these guys 
try and uh, go around here and hopefully take everything down from the strength for Akio on this one. Make sure it defeats that much harder than that. I've actually gotten a lot of stuff. I believe I just got about 110 um, gold from that. I just, took up, I just got the rest of it. Now we're just kind of going after the storages just so that um, we can get everything else. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get any stars on this, which is totally fine because what I wanted is this. I got 145,000 gold, which is good for like a level 7 total. That's good for this. Now I'm a level 6. Um, I haven't had this account for that while, and that's fine. Only lost 15 trophies, which is fine. So, guys, if you have your own farming attack, attack strategy that you would like to share below, I'm sure there's a ton. Make sure to do that. Just comment down below and say, oh, my favorite is blah, blah, blah. Other than that, guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel for all sorts of Clash of Clans and Bloom Beach videos. And also like the video so that I know I'm doing stuff right. And I know that I should continue to make more videos. Other than that, guys, I'm out for now. Until next time, have a nice day. And I'm out. Peace.